Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to be talking about mood. So to start, you're going to need to get this little worksheet. And we have a goal for this project, and it is I can identify mood in a work of art. So before we can identify mood, we should be able to tell what mood is. So it says here, mood is, and we need to fill in the blank. Mood is a feeling or an emotion. So go ahead and pause the video and write that right here. Mood is a feeling or an emotion. Now, there can be all different kinds of feelings or emotions or moods. You could be in a happy mood, sad, angry, excited, scared, surprised, and many, many more. These are all examples of mood. Now that we know what mood is, we should be able to identify ways to show mood in a work of art. So when we are creating art, we're also creating a mood. You can make art that's happy or makes people feel happy when they look at it or sad or angry or any of those other examples I showed you. So as you're working through this, I want you to come up with different ways to show these moods. So the mood here is happy. I need to think of colors that can show happy. I need to think of some shapes to show happy and lines. And same for sad, angry, and two more that you're going to come up with yourself. So go ahead and pause the video and go get some crayons. Now that I have crayons, I'm ready to think of colors, shapes, and lines to show my moods. So when I think of happy and happy colors, you can think of, I'd say, one to two colors to show this. So I think yellow is a happy color. And I also, when I see the color pink, it makes me happy as well. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in. This is kind of more of a purpley pink, but I like that. When I think of happy shapes, I think of circles or stars. Those to me seem like happy shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some of those in here. Your shapes might be different than mine, or a shape can be used for more than one mood. So a circle could also maybe be down here and sad. It really depends on how you use it. So maybe like a yellow circle might be more happy than say a blue circle. Thinking of lines, happy, happy lines. You're going to fill that in as well. You can use a pencil or a crayon. So when I think of happy lines, I'm thinking, hmm, Maybe some straight lines. Maybe uh, a wavy line. Oh, you know what I think is a really happy line? A curly line. Okay, these are my examples. I encourage you to come up with your own. And you will have to fill in sad by yourself and angry. So you need to think of two colors for each of those, some shapes and some lines. And then I want you to come down here and I want you to think of a mood that's not already on here. So maybe you can look here. Maybe you wanna see excited or surprised, scared, um, maybe frustrated or um, disgusted. I want you to write those here and do the same as you did up here. So as you're filling this bottom part, maybe I want to show the mood scared. So I'm going to write that there. 
and then you're going to go through it. What one or two colors show scared? What shapes can show scared? What lines? There are all different kinds of moods. So come up with something unique and creative on your own. Write that here with your best spelling. You'll need to come up with two and this whole sheet should be filled out before you're ready to move on.